Hey there. Today we will be discussing the Shopify flow and configuration. First, you have to install the Shopify connector module in your database. Once you do the installation, then you need to give your users permission. You can do that by going into Settings, Users and Companies, and selecting Users. For the sake of this demo, let's select Mitchell Admin. If you scroll down, you'll see Shopify Connector, Shopify Admin. So once you give the appropriate user permission, that is also what they will see, and they'll be able to not only see the Shopify app on the Odoo dashboard, but also be able to gain access to the app. Now, click on the Shopify app and from the Shopify dashboard, go to Configuration and select Shopify Configuration. Here, you need to create a new record in Shopify Configuration. In it, the name field must be filled out. Also, you'll need to provide a shop URL. This will be your Shopify store URL. Additionally, the password and API key will also need to be provided for your particular Shopify account. Once that's done, you can proceed to click on Check Connection. If all the information you provided is correct, then the Shopify configuration status will move from draft to success. Likewise, if there are issues, it would move to fail, and you would have to try again. Let's take the Bista US record for example. Since everything was inputted correctly, the status dictates success. Once that's done, you'll need to generate the automatic workflow under Auto Workflow for orders and invoices and such. Now let's select Common Configuration. This is where you'll need to set up your sales team, discount product, shipping product and such. As you can see, there are other things you can configure here too. But the most important one is Sync Product With, where you can select between SKU, barcode, or both. In Account Configuration, you can configure the account details, price list details, as well as the payment terms, among much else, as you can see. Please note that it's only once this entire record is in the success stage that you'll be able to see the additional tabs apart from account configuration, including common configuration, workflow, webhooks and sync date info. Moving on to the webhooks tab, once you click in here you'll see that it will need to be updated. This webhook, however, will automatically create orders from Shopify, there is no need to process things like the queue, and whatnot. Simply put, once we configure name, webhook action and callback URL, then what happens is if a product is created on Shopify, then the product will automatically be created on Odoo as well. Once the information is inputted, you will need to click on the Configure Webhook button and then activate the particular webhooks by clicking on the Active button. Now when you click on the Sync Date Info tab, you'll see some basic information like when the last import products date was, when the last import refund date was, and more. Now let's jump into a few more configurations. On the menu, hover over Configuration once more and select Shopify Financial Workflow from the drop down. This is something that you will need to set up. Now, if we go back to the Configuration, you'll also need to click on Shopify Auto Workflow Process and set that up as well. Here, as you can see, it says Confirm Order, Create Invoice, Validate Invoice, and so forth. This is the workflow, and you'll need to determine whether this flow is what you want or whether you can make do without certain steps. If you go back to Configuration and select Shopify Payment Gateway, you'll be able to configure your payment gateways here based on your Shopify accounts. Lastly, you can configure your product mapping by clicking on Shopify Product Mapping via Configuration. Okay, let's go back to the Shopify dashboard. To sync the orders, we will need to click on Operation and select the Shopify configuration account you would like to sync to get the orders. Also, you need to select the operations. For this example, since we are trying to retrieve orders, we will select import. And in the import field, we will select import orders. We also have the option to select orders based on date range. Additionally, we have the option to select Shopify order IDs if we choose another option from the import field. This can be done by typing in comma separated text form order IDs. Once we are done with this, we can go ahead and click on run operation. Now that it's processed, 
Let's go over to Queues and select Shopify Queues. Here, all you need to do is click on the Process button at the top left and you will be able to see all the orders that you have imported. You can follow the same steps we just did in order to import customers, products and collections. However, instead of selecting orders, you select customers in its place or products or whatever it is you want to import into Odoo. Then you click on run operation and the process of importing the data you want will go ahead and be executed. Okay, so now you can see that the status is marked as processed. Make a note of that very last sales order, it says 1190. So now, if we click on Odoo and select sale order from the drop down, you'll be redirected to all the sales orders within Odoo. Now if we go to search and start typing 1190 and select search Shopify order for 1190, you will see it is clearly imported into Odoo. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on Operation once again. If you want to push any updates, we need to select Export and Update Order Status. This will update the fulfillment in Shopify, and based on that, this Update in Shopify checkbox will automatically get selected. Now, let's run through the Shopify dashboard a little more. If you need to see the order details or entire sales data week wise, simply click on the week button. Likewise, this data is accessible per month, as well as per year. There are more shortcuts you can use as well. For example, if you want to access customers, you can do it from here, you can access products from here, orders from here, and so forth. So there you have it. This was a basic demo of the Shopify connector. We hope you enjoy this module and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. Thank you.